11 days. That's how long we have to wait for the first weekend of college football to kick off. And how about these ranked teams, the top 10 in the AP Top 25 just released. Usual suspects there, and you see we have those ranked on ranked games in week one. All right, when these teams take the field come week one, I know Dennis Dodd, our college writer, senior college writer, is going to be watching every minute of it. Dennis, when you look at the schedule, which of these teams are you most excited to take the field come week one? Oh, gosh, that... The game that nobody's talking about is Houston at UTSA. Now, Houston's ranked 24th in AP going in, but I think this could be an elimination game for who gets that group of five berth. And if you talk about Houston, I think they're right there where Cincinnati was last year in terms of competing for uh, a playoff spot. Look, I, I had a hard time coming up with that number four team this year, and if Houston runs the, game, runs the table with road games at UTSA and at Texas Tech as well as the well-respected American first, I think they could do it. They're a six-point favorite in this game. They're going on the road. They lost their best runner, Alton McCaskill, the fourth with a knee, but they've got plenty of offense. Clayton Toon at quarterback, Nathaniel Dell, the receiver. They haven't lost to a group of five team on the road in the non-con since 2015. And Dana Holgerson, after winning 12 last year, has just gotten this team going. Now, Jeff Trailer at UTSA, this could be one of the biggest wins in program history, considering they haven't even been in FBS that long. So I think this is a really, really interesting game below the radar. All right, that's one to look forward to. How about this, Dennis? Top-ranked team that will surprise, good or bad, in week one. Which team might that be? I like Utah. Utah's favorite, favorite at Florida by two points. I think they're going to win. I'm going to. I think they're going to win by more than that. They've got plenty of motivation. This is one of the biggest regular season games in Utah history, coming off a Pac-12 title, a Rose Bowl win. They've got two Florida transfers on the roster, and frankly, they're better than Florida right now. They're very physical. Uh, they've got Cam Rising, the quarterback, who's a run-pass guy. You've got Kyle Whittingham spending 15 years in his 16th year now at Utah, getting ready for this moment, as I said, to get one of the biggest wins in school history. Uh, and they've got a running game. So I, I think they can control the ball at Florida. Florida with a new coach, you know, in uh, coming in from Louisiana and Billy Napier, that's going to be an issue. I think Utah plays free and easy, and I think they win this game. Well, the expectations are so high for these teams coming in ranked so highly, and not every school lives up to it. Dennis, who is a ranked program you think that's going to be disappointing in the week one matchup? Well, I think it's easy, and you can see it coming from a mile away. Notre Dame, Ohio State is probably the sexiest matchup of week one. It's not going to be the best matchup of week one. Notre Dame is already a 14 and a half point underdog going to the shoe with a first-time coach, yeah. with a first-time starting quarterback, Taylor Buckner, who's thrown 35 career passes. They lost their best receiver, talking about Notre Dame this week, to a knee. He's not going to be in. And we all know Ohio State, number two ranked, is really, really good. So this is going to be kind of a nightmare for Ohio State. Uh, I'm sorry, for Notre Dame and the Fighting Irish. And no treat playing Ohio That's State. it. I mean, yeah, he only laid out all the issues that Notre Dame has to face as they face Ohio State, right? <laughs> yeah, Sherry showed you the, <laughs> the three of the rank versus rank matchups at the outset here. Dennis, your favorite ranked versus rank kickoff from week one is what game? Uh, here's another kind of one off the radar. Cincinnati at Arkansas. I think Cincinnati has enough left on that roster to make a run at Arkansas. Arkansas is kind of the, the betting favorite, not to win the SEC, but to break through after winning nine games with Sam Pittman last year. They have to account for Cincinnati having their entire offensive line back, including the tight end. So that's the starting five across the top. That's a good place to start going into an SEC venue. In the first game of the season, they are not going to be scared after going undefeated in the regular season last year. That being said, Arkansas is really, really good. K.J. Jefferson completed 67% of his passes last year. The receivers will work their way through, I think, after losing some last year. Um, and they've got a great, great running game. And those playing in that atmosphere in the, in the opener at Fayetteville is going to be tough. But, look, I think Cincinnati is going to give them all their worth. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if Cincinnati won that game. You know what happens when you're a ranked team. you got to always be on upset alert. 
Yeah. I love it, except when it's my team on the other end. But <laughs> there's something about rooting for that underdog beating a top-ranked program. Who do you think, Dennis, needs to be on upset alert come week one? I've got Oklahoma State 20 and a half hosting Central Michigan. Now, it doesn't seem like much of a game, but I think Central Michigan has a chance. Jim McElwain is used to coaching in the big town, big time, the Central Michigan coach. Lou Nichols, you know that name? No, of course you don't. He only led FBS in rushing last year. That's how big he is. If they can control the ball, Spencer Sanders comes back for his fourth season as a starter at Oklahoma State, but he still has that problem turning over the ball. So if I were a better, I'd at least be all over that 20 and a half. Another one, Pittsburgh and West Virginia. Pittsburgh's a seven point favorite in the renewal of the backyard brawl, uh, but they lose their two best players. It all about uh, Jordan Addison, the receiver going to USC and Kenny Pickett now with the Steelers. I think West Virginia goes in there free and easy and gives them a tussle. You know, those schools are only separated by what, 70 miles or something like that. So that could be one. I'm scratching the one I had on there, Oklahoma versus UTEP. I would only say for betting purposes, because UTEP went, you know, went seven and six last year and Dana Dimmel, the veteran coach there, UTEP's not going to win the game, but I think you might be interested in the points. And then of course, the one we mentioned up top, uh, really one to look at is Houston and UTSA. That's going to be a hard one to figure out. Make your plans. College football is around the corner. It's our Dennis Daw with your top 25 college football predictions. Love it, Dennis. Thank you. Thanks. All right, here's what he's looking at for week one. Team he's most excited to watch those Cougars of Houston. Ranked team that will surprise week one. He's focused on Utah in that opener and ranked team that will disappoint week one. Well, it is no today, but they are playing Ohio State. How about his favorite rank versus rank game? You have a few to choose from, but he likes Cincinnati, Arkansas, a pair of top 25s matching up. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.